fall of the year is, of course, weaning time for spring calving operations all across the southwest, and especially here in Oklahoma. And for those herds that plan to put those calves in a value-added calf sale, weaning time is here or just around the corner. And that's a good time to remind folks of the management practice that gained some popularity just a few years ago due to research done out in California. And the management practice that I'm talking about is fence line weaning. And what do I mean by fence line weaning? Fence line weaning means that we simply put the calves on one side of a fence and the mother cows on the opposite side of that same fence so that during the weaning process they can hear each other, they can smell each other, but yet they're, they're not in direct contact. That kind of weaning has turned out to be a lower stressed uh, weaning practice as compared to moving the calves, say, in a, into another pasture, out of sight, out of mind, out of hearing contact from the mothers. When the University of California uh, folks actually compared those two weaning management practices, they found that the calves that had the fence line weaning, those that uh, stayed within earshot and could smell the, the mother, those calves actually got off to a better start. In the first two weeks after weaning, the fence line weaned calves had gained 23 more pounds than their counterparts that were weaned completely separate from their mothers. And that advantage actually was maintained through 10 weeks. Those calves still weighed, uh, weighed about 26 pounds more than their counterparts that were completely separated from the mothers. Recent research done right here at Oklahoma State University by uh, one of the faculty members in the College of Veterinary Medicine, Dr. Taylor, has again shown that fence line weaning calves get off to a better start and gain a little better in the first few weeks after weaning. So I think this is a management practice that many producers may want to take a good close look at. If you do, one of the key things to keep in mind is that we have to have fresh water available on both sides of the fence. We're going to remember that this entire herd is going to be congregated in this area for several days. So having adequate water for both the cows and certainly those newly weaned calves. Remember to have water that those calves are used to drinking out of that they can reach and, and get plenty of. So fence line weaning, it's a management practice that looks like it helps the calves through that uh, stressful period a whole lot easier gets them started in gaining weight so that they're going to be a little bit heavier if they go into that value-added calf sale and we'll get along a little bit better we think in terms of of health right after weaning with those calves. Fence line weaning, consider it this year as you wean your calves this fall. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on Sunup's Cow-Calf Corner. <music>